Hi, Sandy here. Um, in my last video, um, I showed you how I organized my butterflies and, and flowers that had gotten so... I had a bunch of new stuff t tucked in the bag and it, it was just kind of a mess. And I had gone through and, and re-glued stuff. Well, I watched my video and man, it just wasn't doing anything for me. The, <laughs> the way that I work with my stuff... Um, I, I like things sorted by color, and I hadn't had them sorted by color for a while, so um, I decided to go back to that system. So I went through, and um, as, as, this is my system I've been working with for five or six years. I cut all the stickers off of the sticker pages with with the backing still on there and then I glue them on <clears throat> with my glue stick just a little bit so I can peel them off and use them when I'm ready and then as you use them you end up with blank spaces and and you get more stuff you just drop it in the bag and it gets to be a mess so every once a year or so I go through and I tidy them up um, but today this time I went through it again after my video <laughs> and I took everything off every page and I sorted them by color, put them in piles. And so this is my butterflies. And I've got a multicolor page. I mixed black and brown because I use those for vintage tags and borders. And then I got yellow, however many pages it takes. And I started with the little ones and worked my way up. It's it's a little mixed up here and there, but for the most part that's my thing. And then I got orange and started with the little ones. And then pink. I always have a lot of pink. I'm surprised I don't have more. So here's the little ones and work my way up. Something came loose and, and that happens because I purposely want them to be loose so I can tear them off and use them and that's okay. And that's why I keep them in a plastic bag so when they do fall off they're all in the plastic bag and it's there okay so there's my purple started with the little ones work my way up and then blue there's the little ones um, these I cut out of a piece of scrapbook paper I had maybe two or three of those and then more blue, big ones. Oh, there's another one that fell off, but that's okay. And this is what I end up with when I peel them off. And they're not, the backs are messy, and but they're fine. You glue them down and you, you never know, never, never know. And green. The small ones working my way up to the bigger ones. Okay, so that's my butterflies. And then, here's my flowers. Um, I had some, the stickers, I know for a while I was doing the stickers on, took them off the original pages and put them on wax paper. Um, but that you, I couldn't rearrange things on the rat wax paper. It wasn't working for me, so I don't like that. So, like this one was on the wax paper, so I cut that out, including the wax paper, and now I've got a sticker again. This, this here, this is cardboard. This is actually off of a, a, a tampon box. <laughs> I've had that for a while. I haven't needed tampons in quite a while. Okay, so this is my multicolor. Now this one's pretty big. This is out of a magazine. I'll probably use that on a on a glue book page eventually. Okay, so then um, multicolor, multicolor. There we go again. Um, and, you know, as you can see, things keep falling off, and this really does not bother me. And when I'm actually working on a page, I'll probably just toss that back in the bag, bag, and not worry about it. Um, so multicolor. Multicolor. These are some old foam ones that I mixed, whatever. Okay, and then I got yellow and yellow. 
And then I, I love the roses. Sometimes I'm doing a Victorian so, something and I think, I want a Victorian pretty rose. So I tried to get all the roses together on the same page pretty much. Um, if there's a few more, then there's some orange. Orange. Red. 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 And now the red roses. And then purple. Now this I left on the sticker page because all these leaves and the, the, those need to stay together. I'm just not even going to mess with that. And I've had these quite a while because I have to build them. If I use it, I have to kind of build it on the page. and So I kind of hesitate, but that's all right. Okay, and then we got, we're got still in the purple. Purple. And blue. See, I kind of sorted things into categories. Blue. I don't have much roses in the blue. But what I do want a rose, there. I know right there together. And green. I didn't have much green. So, and that's only half of my flowers. I have so much. you got to slide them all into the bag at once because if you... You know, if you pulled out a sheet to use and then you try to slide it in, then it's going to catch on things. So I slide them all in together at once. All right. And then pink, man, I got a lot of pink. <laughs> and as I said in my previous video, I keep a piece of cardboard in here because these were slouching in my bin where I keep them. So... These are kind of the leftovers, and these were on little squares, that, and, and I had them for a while. I had cut them off of a sheet of scrap of paper, and then I hadn't been using them, so I thought, oh, I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to be more likely to use them, because so I like to just grab it and go. I, it's, yeah, I do trim things, but when, to be inspired, no. And this is some of the roses, and they're mixed with some other things, because um, I filled up some rose pages. So there's roses. I think those are more like peonies, but they're on the rose page. I think I actually used something off here already. Maybe maybe I did. And then these have come from different stickers. I bought this same page several times, and, and it, I use the butterflies and stuff, and I just keep buying it. I like those. Lots of pink roses, and then there's small roses, and then... Various. I kind of try to sort them by size as well. And these all have a lot of, most of these have a stem on them. I had an empty space right there. I just stuck a sticker there. Pink. Lots of pink, like I said. And then I got smaller, working my way up as I go. And then the black and white and this kind of look like blue, and I put it with the blue, and I know it looks like gray, so whatever. And I, um, some of these are kind of colorless. I couldn't really pick a color to put that in, so I mixed that with the, I got black, white, brown, and colorless here together. Um, these are white flowers, with, even though there's some pink on them, because I got enough pink. Um, well, there's some brown. So I started with the small ones and worked my way up. And then, then I cut out, a, some of these are stickers, embellishments. Some of these I cut out of magazines. And I want to use these on my glue book pages. I can decorate a tag or a border with them. Um, so I, and as I went through and sorted, I put everything in a vase or a container um, together here. And I've got a few pages of those. So that's my flowers. So we'll put that back. And then as I was working through this, I came up with all of these super tiny little things that I have been working for years to get rid of. I want to get use them up. Just use them up. Use them up. 
you know, but I don't. They just kind of get ignored. So, um, as I went through, I, I had, had a notepad with this raccoon on it, and I just pulled off a page and, and made these little pages, and, and I made one for each color, and most of them only filled up a half a page or the entire thing. Pink is the only one that took up this much space. And I've already gone through these. And what I did, I have my tag and border book. And I went through and I just used them all up on these existing tags and borders. See, I like to add a lot of little things. That's my style. So, so here's what I'm going to do. This is how I did it. And I'm gonna I saved the paint to do for the video. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna speed it up uh, this part. Okay, you get the idea. Um, and then I've got these extra borders that I've made extra, and I, they don't fit in my books yet, book yet, um, so I can decorate some more of those. And then um, I've got this box of clusters that I made, and I'm going to throw a few things on here. I'm not going to think much about it. things you know they're just my tags my borders my clusters they're just ways to use up stuff that's my goal since I'm caught up with scrapbooking I don't often get to do much with creating, you know, I'll be with actually using them in my books, but eventually they do get into the books because, into the scrapbooks, they do eventually get used. It just kind of takes longer. So I'll be using up all of these little pink things, all these tiny, tiny things. And then in the future, when I'm um, working on my tags and borders and I want little things, I have buttons and 
gemstones and just lots of little things so so we got it covered <laughs> um, I do have still have tiny things well, you can barely see that on there but I'm not going to fuss about it Okay, so I'm going to continue on and get all of these used up. I've put a little bit of a dent in it. I've still got plenty of tags and borders and things to decorate. And if I run out of those, I will open up some scrapbooks and just add to the tags and borders already in there. But I'm getting rid of these. I'm using these. Now, a lot of people would probably just toss them, but that's... I don't waste anything. You know, I've even got my little my little box of tiny scraps that I use on my borders and tags. I like to put these little squares on the edge. That's just my little trademark. That's my style. I, I like um, my stuff cluttered with all of these little things and because that's how I like to use it up. And I like my things colorful and so that's my style. That's that's um, just my style and thanks for watching. Bye bye.